Hi guys, I wanted to share with you a book today about ladybugs. I understand you might be studying these with your classmates and your teacher. So this book is written by Sion Smith. And this is a nonfiction, so that means that it is real. That's right. This has a table of contents, which most nonfiction books do. It tells you what each page is about. And here are the page numbers that you would find those topics on. Spots in the garden. What is this creepy critter? In the garden, there are lots. They look very small and shiny and are covered in tiny spots. Do you guys see what we're talking about here? If you said it was a bug, you wouldn't get any blame. But it is actually a beetle, and ladybug is its name. So did you know that ladybugs were beetles? They are actually beetles, not bugs. What color is a ladybug? Most are black and red. Do you see? This one looks a little bit different, doesn't it? What color is that? And how about that one? An Asian beetle is a type of ladybug too. They are yellow or orange instead. Wow, look at that one. That's amazing. Counting the spots on a ladybug won't let you know its age. Ladybugs can have different numbers of spots. That's just the way they are made. One, two, three, four, five. Did you guys count that one with me? You want to count on your screen? One, two, three, four, five. Shell secrets. Ladybugs have a secret. They keep it under their shell. Hidden, there are two big wings, which help them to fly really well. See the wings? That's our label. The wings. Have you ever seen wings? Have you ever seen the body of a ladybug from underneath its shells? And here are the wings. To stay safe from birds and spiders, a ladybug can hide its head. Kind of like a turtle, right? That's what it makes me think of. They can also roll over onto their backs and pretend that they are dead. Kind of like a possum. Do they play dead? Have you ever heard about possums playing dead? Ladybug lunches. Ladybugs eat aphids. They consider them a treat. Do you see these aphids here? It's kind of hard to see. Aphids are these tiny little green bugs and they eat plants. Hmm, that makes me think. If aphids eat plants and ladybugs eat aphids, hmm, I wonder why Mr. Harvey likes having ladybugs in the greenhouse. Hmm, that makes me think. Some types of ladybugs do eat plants, but most eat only meat. Yum! This one's eating other kinds of insects that are on the plant. Strange babies. This is a larva. It's pointing to this creature that I don't recognize. Compared to their mom and dad, ladybug babies can look strange. They start out as a small black larva and then they start to change. See here how it starts to become a little bit more ladybug-like. Out in the cold, 
Ladybugs get together in the winter, both young ladybugs and old. They find a place where they can all go to sleep when the weather starts to get cold. See how they're all grouped together? They look like little cherry tomatoes, don't they? They all group together and stay warm. Looking for ladybugs? Can you find two ladybugs here? There's an adult and a child. They are hiding somewhere near these plants, just like they do in the wild. Can you find them? Now it's pretty easy to spot the adult ladybug, right? Right over here. Do you remember what the baby one looks like? Remember how creepy it looks? Creepy baby bug. <laughs> and on the last page, did you know a fun fact? A group of ladybugs is called a loveliness of ladybugs. I love that. A loveliness of ladybugs. And here we have our index, which you often find in nonfiction, that tells you the key words that you might be looking for if you wanted to know about their color. You could look on page 8 or 9. If you wanted to find out about their wings, you would look here, wings. Page 13, we can turn to page 13 and find out about their wings. Thank you for joining me and reading this book on ladybugs. I hope you enjoy and I hope you find some ladybugs on your next walk.